And then famously, as the story goes, I, I got called to the stadium for their last game against Real Zaragoza. It was a Spanish La Liga team coming to town uh, with the first team at Vicarage Road, the big stadium. And he called me in and he says, oh, I want you to come get involved. So I'm thinking I'll get a minute, maybe get to warm up with the team. Because I didn't even, I haven't even trained with the first team yet. And, mm-hmm. and I came into the, to the locker room that day and I, my name was in the starting lineup with 10 starters on the first team yeah. that I had never even, I'd never even trained with, let alone played with in front of 30,000 people at Watford. So mm-hmm. it was, uh, it was, that was one of my big moments of like, do you sink or do you swim? Mm-hmm. And, uh, I had a really interesting conversation with myself first. I went to the bathroom stall because I was freaking out because he didn't tell me. And he was a lot of times the English managers, they don't even come into the locker room before the game. They, they meet you outside of the tunnel and because they let the players do the things. Maybe they'll come in and say what's up, but he didn't, I didn't even see him before I really went out there. And so I couldn't talk to him. He didn't want to talk to me because I think, you know, he, that's what he wanted to do. He was, this was a full on challenge to be like, okay, I'm going to put him in there, see how he reacts. I'm going to see how Mm -hmm. he can perform. And I went out there and did what I needed to do again in those big moments where I knew I was maybe were a little bit out of my sorts. um, I just stick to my, to what, to my guns and knowing what I, knowing what my guns look like and knowing what ones I can use. And so that's kind of what I do. I try not to get out of my comfort zone too much. I know what I'm good at. So I stick to that. I, I'm not mm-hmm. trying to hit left footed left footed bombs up because like, that's going in the stands and then all these English fans are like, oh, who's this guy? Yeah, you know, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Trying trying too hard. You know what I mean? It's like win the ball, yeah, give yeah. it to somebody else. Win the ball, exactly. win the win that ball in the air, give it to somebody else. Mark mm-hmm. your man on corners and don't give it up. Mark mark your man on corners and make it hard for him. You know, mm-hmm. what I mean? win tackles, you know, be physical, be fast, use your athleticism, you know what I mean? Pull up against people, be strong and be confident cool i can do Absolutely. that i know it can do that because mm-hmm. i've done that hundreds of times hundreds of times before like yes mm-hmm. you can you can move into the factors of stadiums and noise and pressure and all the other things but pressure comes off when you know what you're good at and you know and, and you take confidence in your skill sets and that was one thing i always i always did I, I knew i knew what i was good at i knew what i brought to that field every time and as you get better you bring more that's what you mm-hmm. want absolutely but even even if even if you have a, a, a small skill set you still know what you have and, mm-hmm. and so I just, in those beginning years, I really just stayed in my lane, listened to the good players around me, meant that got mentored by a lot of the good center backs, those 34 year olds I was playing next to my first, my first two seasons really helped me. They helped me read the game. They helped mm. me understand the game in a different level. They helped me understand how to use my voice, uh, commun- communicate on the field, uh, communicate runners across all that kind of stuff. They, they were really on me a lot about that mm. kind of thing. Cause they knew that those are the pieces that I didn't have. As a, mm. as a 20, 23 year old rookie. Mm-hmm. And so they, they helped me that that's where the mentorship level comes in, you know, in the game um, or in life, you know, finding mentors, finding people that can help teach you things that you don't know. Um, mm-hmm. So I use those first couple seasons to do that. 